It's time for another Brawlympics! Today's event, the boss bot test. That's right guys, today we're going to be putting all of the brawlers against each other in a competition to see who can blast through the 100,000 health boss bot in the training cave. I'll go ahead and put up the worst brawlers while I cover the rules. Now the brawlers can use anything to try and get an advantage. They can use their super if it will help, they can use their star power if it will help. The only rule is that they can only attack the boss bot. They cannot use other bots to like charge up their super or something like that. Now the clock starts at the very frame that the brawler unload their first attack and it stops at the very frame that the bot's health reaches zero. They do not get a pre-charged super like in some of the other events. Now I'm actually going to show you more than one brawler at a time to save you some time because it takes a while to burn through these brawlers. But before I do that, I'm actually going to give you a moment to guess which of the brawlers in a specific group is actually going to be the winner. Every time you guess it right, you get one point and there will be a total of eight possible points, so make sure you watch through the end end of the video. For starters, which do you think is going to win out of Leon, Mortis, Jean, and Poco? They were just playing, so you might have already had an idea, but uh, let's find out. It's pretty easy to tell early on that Leon has the highest DPS out of these four brawlers. He's able to finish off the bot in 1 minute and 29 seconds, placing him in 22nd place with a DPS of 1117. Next is a pretty close matchup between Mortis and Jean. Jean does not have the use of his super, but Mortis has a very slow reload speed. Also, as a quick side note, some brawlers like Jean or Leon actually will not use their super in this competition because they actually have to stop reloading their attacks for a split second when they activate their super. Now, although it is actually really close, Mortis takes 23rd place with a DPS of 635, and Jean takes 24th place with a DPS of 627. Now, if you guess Poco, I'm really sorry. I actually had to zoom forward sometime because it takes him so long, over three minutes and 23 seconds with a DPS of 491, he comes in last place. Now, up next in this competition is a matchup between Penny, Frank, Rosa, and Piper. Who do you think is going to come out on top out of these four? Now, I actually tested Frank with both his super and without his super just to make sure that the extra wait time for him to actually use his super didn't prevent him from doing better. It actually was really, really close, but Frank actually performed slightly better with his super than without. You'll also notice that Penny actually benefits from her star power by standing in the perfect spot so that the boss bot will actually take some damage every time Penny throws down a new turret. Piper actually <laughs> fires off some shots, walks up to the bot, and then uses her super to jump back, dealing additional damage to the bot. She then fires off more shots in order for her to charge up her super and then walks up and repeats the cycle. Rosa just punches the bot from up close the whole time. Uh, she's pretty simple. Now for the winner of this round, Penny actually takes 18th place with a DPS of 1,340. Piper takes 19th with a DPS of 1,230. Frank takes 20th with a DPS of 1,217, and Rosa takes 21st with a DPS of 1,190. As a quick side note, these DPSs are actually calculated over the entire time that it takes them to take out the bot, so it is an average out of the entire time. Up next is a competition between Pam, Terra, Barley, and Nita. You basically just have one second to guess which one is going to win. Now for starters, Pam doesn't actually get the help of her turret, but she does really well without it. Uh, Terra's shadow star power actually helps add to the DPS, and I tested to see if it was better to only use one super or to keep throwing supers out because the shadow actually stops dealing damage for a second uh, with each super thrown. And when it comes down to it, using her super over and over and over again resulted in a slightly faster time. Now, Barley simply spams his attack and his super the whole time, and Nita gets the additional help from her super bear going down on the bot the whole time, or in this case, a super dog. In the end, Nita actually beats the others, taking 14th place with a DPS of 1,508. Barley takes 15th with a DPS of 1,431. Pam takes 16th place with a DPS of 1,418. And Terra takes 17th with a DPS of 1,387. Up next is a competition between Bo, Jesse, Daryl and Dynamite. Who do you think out of these four is going to be the victor? One thing to note is that Bo's mines are actually super random and unpredictable. Sometimes all three of them would hit the boss and other times none of them would. Uh, I recorded Bo several times and this was his fastest time out of all of the takes that I took. Jesse actually gets her turret for, for some added DPS and Daryl was actually really 
hard to pull off. Ideally, he hits the bot twice with his super and then lands a full attack and then repeats. But sometimes the bot would actually bounce too far away from the walls for him to actually like hit it twice with his super. This was my absolute best attempt with Daryl after several attempts as well. Dynamite bounces the boss around the map using his super after every second attack with his super dealing a lot of damage. Ultimately, Bo actually takes 10th place with a DPS of 2004, Daryl takes 11th place with a DPS of 1718, Dynamite takes 12th place with a DPS of 1623, and Jesse takes 13th place with a DPS of 1531. Next is a competition for 6th place between El Primo, Brock, Colt, and Carl. It is Kairos time for you to guess. El Primo gets to use his super after every second full attack, keeping fire on the boss the whole time. Now, if you've watched my True Red and True Blue video, then you understand some of the complexities that go into Brock's super. You'll also know that you can't just auto-aim on the robot if you want to have the fastest time. You have to aim perfectly, or the slight randomness in where his rockets land will actually make it so that Brock doesn't fully recharge his super after every super. Colt gets to recharge his super after every attack, but it's important to not spam Colt's super because his super will actually stop his attack midway through his attack, therefore decreasing his DPS. Carl actually benefits from not using his super at all. He can stand right next to the wall, spamming his attack the whole time, finishing first out of this set of brawlers. Taking 6th place with a DPS of 2,564, Brock takes 7th at 2,381, Colt takes 8th slightly behind Brock with a DPS of 2,358, and El Primo takes 9th with a DPS of 2,033. Okay guys, the competition is heating up. We're actually going to have a two-way competition between the two shotgunners, Bull and Shelly. It actually ends up being a really close call, but which of the two do you think will win? As you can see, Bull gets his HP super low so that he can then fire his attacks twice as fast because of his star power, therefore doubling his DPS. Now, although it doesn't deal much damage, he also gets a little bit of help from his super as well. Shelly, on the other hand, blasts her bots with her super after every single attack, which results in 6,000 damage every single time she is able to reload a shot. In the end, the added damage from Shelly's super outranks the extra DPS from Bull's faster reload speed. Shelly finishes in 33.7 seconds, taking fourth at 2,967 DPS, and Bull finishes in 35.3 seconds, taking fifth at 2,833 damage per second. We're coming down to the wire, and we only have three brawlers left, and right now, it's time for you to guess between Spike and Rico for second place. Both brawlers have a super crazy ability that gives them an advantage in this challenge, but which of them do you think is going to win? As you can see, Rico is able to completely recharge his super with his super super if every single bullet hits. This allows him to chain his super over and over and over again. Additionally, I fired off his shots at the wall first so that he would actually get extra damage from his star power. Now when Spike stands in the perfect spot, he's able to deal seven spikes worth of damage on the bot with a single attack because each one of the six spikes that spreads out hits as well as the addition of original ball actually hits and that counts as a spikes worth of damage as well. Now this allows him to use a super after every single attack dealing an insane amount of damage every single time he attacks. Ultimately though, Rico's super doesn't require him to reload his attack and he's able to beat Spike by four entire seconds. Rico takes second place with a DPS of 3,831 and Spike takes third place with a DPS of 3,333. But guys, the next brawler totally kicks every single other brawler out of the water. We have covered every brawler other than the first place brawler, and you only get a point if you can remember right now who we have not talked about. Who gets that first place position, guys? Do you remember? The winning champion for this challenge is none other than Crow. Crow seems to only be held back by how long it actually takes for him to charge up his super. Once he has it charged up, if he is standing in the perfect place, you can auto-aim his super so that all 14 daggers hit the bot when he jumps up and all 14 daggers hit when Crow lands. You can also quickly throw out a quick attack in between each jump if he has one reloaded. In total, this means that with a single super, Crow is able to deal 11,760 damage 
every time he supers, and that is excluding the poison or fire depending on the skin you're using, and it's also excluding the additional attack that Crow's able to quickly throw out in between every single super, assuming he has an attack reloaded. Now this only works out because of the boss large hitbox, but that's kind of the point of this entire challenge. Crow is able to finish this challenge in only 14.3 seconds, meaning that has average DPS throughout the whole time is 6,993 damage per second, and that is literally insane. That is it for the boss bot test. How many points did you get out of the eight? Did you get all eight? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. I also wanted to let you know that you can actually support your favorite Brawl Stars content creators whenever you spend gems in the game. Click the link below to support me, and whenever you spend gems that you've purchased within the game, Supercell will actually give me part of the proceeds at no extra cost to you. The link actually expires after seven days, so you'll actually want to click on the link every single time you spend some gems if you really want to be supportive. Also, you can also choose to support Chief Pat, Orange Juice, and Lex if you would prefer to support one of them instead of myself. They're actually all really great friends of mine, and I don't really care who you support. I just would love it if you guys took the time to support at least one of us. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you've got another idea for a Brawl Olympics video, let me know and I just might do it for you guys. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in the next video.